See, first is a very careful history, but there is no shortcut here. A careful clinical examination, preferably done by an ENT surgeon who would examine him in his clinic and do what is called a diagnostic nasal endoscopy. Essentially, you have a nasal endoscope with a camera and you peek into the nose and have a look. Is there any discharge? Is there any blackish debris? Is there something which looks like a fungus? And if that is seen, there is a high index of suspicion. The next step would be taking a swab. So the swab is sent for what is called a KOH mount and for a fungal culture. You get the report of a KOH mount in a couple of hours, which is pretty accurate. Recently, our hospital is also starting what is called a PCR test. A PCR test basically, you take scrapings from the inside of the nose and send it for an examination and you get the report in a couple of hours. Sometimes patients have symptoms related to muca which involves the lungs. So in such cases, what is called a bronchoalveolar washout is done. The secretions are collected and sent for fungal examination in terms of stains and culture. Very, very rarely, if the picture of COVID affecting the lung and COVID uh, associated mucor mycosis both happen at the same time, sometimes a CT guided biopsy is done. Apart from this, what is fairly diagnostic are scans. And in this context, uh, we recommend an MRI with a contrast. So if you collate your examination, your swab and your imaging, you arrive at a diagnosis. But a clinical examination would really give you a lot of insight and raise your index of suspicion.